Hi guys, this week we want to show you how we are staying on the road around Europe for the moment. Yeah, we know we finished the camper really fast and we did show you guys just a short uh, edit of the final days right before we left, but we want to give you a proper tour so you guys can get a feel of the whole place. Yeah. We're not 100% finished yet and it's probably going to be a work in progress for us to always tweak some things. Mm -hmm. Let's show you around. In this end of the camper, as you might have noticed in the earlier videos, there used to be seating area. There used to be seats all the way around and a table where you could eat. And we decided to take out that part and then we put in this sleeping sofa instead. It's a decent mattress that's so very comfortable to sleep, sleep on and it can be folded out. I'm going to show you guys how. So take away these pillows. We still have the water tank over here. We're going to install it below the sink. But for now we have to detach that and move it whenever we fold out the bed. So we just move it over here. That leaves some space for the bed to fold it out. And down here we have everything we need for sleeping. Then we can fold down this one. And voila! We have a pretty decent bed. So every time we've made the bed, we have to do this again and attach the whole thing. And it's not ideal, as you might have guessed, but we didn't have any more time and we are gonna move it. So right now, it is a little bit harder to make the bed and clear it out in the morning that we want it to be but it's for a month this time and for that it's okay this bed has these cushions on the back that we're supposed to use in the back but we actually always scoot them over um, to lean up against the walls and we use them so we can sit with our legs so it's like two shiz and over here we actually saw that this little slot over here fits perfectly with three of our cushions for our chairs that we have outside. So they are normally stored over here and it works out perfectly. Right above the bed we have our main storage area and we have these cabinets. This is our main like drunk drawer. Alden has his clothes in here. This is where we keep our pillows when we don't use them and actually a lot of the time we will take them out and then we'll have them up against over here so they're kind of like throw pillows but just our pillows that we normally sleep with and this is just more s random storage mine cabinets this is the only clothes that I have I think I have three hangers um, in the hanging closet over there but it's been totally fine. I know we are not in super cold climate right now, so it's pretty warm, but last night it was actually 2 degrees Celsius, which is about 30 Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold. So I did need my jacket and I brought it, so happy for that. Then we move into the kitchen area. This is more kitchen storage, and we brought food and we really have enough storage space, but we want to add in shelves here because this becomes cluttered mess really fast. So if we can find shelves that we can put in, it would really be beneficial. And I think we, we're gonna want to do that in most of the upper cabinets because most of our stuff is just we stack it at the bottom and then we can't really use the top for anything. We also have these, ooh, an ant, ooh. Um, handy dandy little flip down things. It's like a shelf in there, but things don't fall out. It's good for plates, cutting boards. And this is our main work surface. I'm just going to close the blinds so you get a bit better light quality on the video, right? <laughs> this in the kitchen here is where we do all of our chopping and stuff. We do have three burners under here, but we haven't used them yet. We have a small cooktop that we use outside and we like to keep everything out there. And that means that this is our main workstation. This is where we do all the prep work. Under here we have our sink. This is our dishes. <laughs> our sink, we fold this up. 
and do like this and then we have the dishes over here so that way we can kind of get it out of the way and then once a day we do the dishes and it's usually not here they're in the campsites we have like di doing the dishes like rooms for that where there are sinks and drying racks and stuff like that so that's just way easier than having to do it in the small sink it works and we have water Yay! <laughs> which I'm a big fan of. This is where we prepare all of our meals and sometimes we do it outside too. We have the fridge is down here. It's a very small fridge and I actually thought it was going to be too small but it hasn't been too small. It works perfectly for shopping every th three, four, five days and uh, we just do small shopping trips. And over here down in Italy they actually have these Look at this. The sizes of the drinks are so cute. <laughs> so they can actually fit in here. It's like they were designed for camper people like us. Um, yeah, so it's worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Over here we have more storage. And this is the shelf that we're going to take out. And I think we'll do just fine without it, uh, storage-wise. Uh, we're going to move the water tank to in here, uh, put in the shelf. And then we have drawers with all our cutlery and stuff. We have more storage down here. And it's really handy. We have the drinks. We have some of Max's formula in there. Max. A kettle. Our blender. And then drinking water. And we have these little propane things in here too for our outdoor propane burner. So. It's a really good space. Up here is the wall that we closed off. This used to be a hole in here uh, to what used to be the bedroom. And we put these decorative tiles on here and I love it. We still have the shelf and it's just like, it's one of the things that makes it really homey that we can have a few things out because everything is tucked away. You can't see really anything, but this is the only shelf and I love these tiles. We have an oven up here, it's a microwave and convection oven and I was really afraid that we weren't going to be able to run it because in most campgrounds in Europe you have fewer amp amps um, to use. So, But we've been really lucky, we haven't had a problem with it. The first campsite we stayed at, it was kind of shared between all of the slots and we were the only people there so we had basically all of the electricity and this one is a better campsite. So. Um, we just have more amps. Here's a closet. <laughs> this is where we keep our jackets, our laundry, and a few hangers for our clothes. I also brought this one. It's like my toolbox. So I put everything like a knife, a drill, stuff like that. I just figured it might need something. Uh, more storage that we added inside. Down here we added some IKEA boxes. We took out a heater that was in here and it was just so big and bulky and we knew that we needed some more storage for shoes. Most of the time we actually keep them outside right under the camper on just like a plastic thing. Um, they don't get wet because it doesn't really rain a lot. But when we're in transit and we need to put things inside or if it's raining, then we have these boxes and every pair of shoes has a place to go, which I am a big fan of. It's Ikea and it's Coupal and I went to Ikea and I couldn't find these small ones, but it says here that they have them. So I'm going to try and see if I can find two to go on top here. That would be just a little lower. So then we have some more storage. This is just a cooling bag that we use when we go on day trips. And uh, yeah, so it's just shoes in here. Let's head into the room that has to do the most functions in this whole tiny space in here. Between the kitchen and the office slash sleeping room for Max, we have this sliding door so we can actually cut it off in the night when Max is sleeping and we want to be on the bed and watching a movie or whatever. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. That works pretty well. And welcome into my office. Normally Maria is doing all the building and all the carpenting. 
stuff, but I built this table myself. I built my office. It's built out of some of the wood and some of the materials that we took out of the camper. When we bought the camper, here was a big bed and some of the wood is this tabletop here. And it works all right. I have to stabilize it a little bit so it, because it was very wobbly in the beginning. So I decided to raise up my laptop a little bit so I can actually work behind it and yeah it's all right my dual screen setup it works <laughs> and if we scoot over here it's time to meet Max, Hi, Max. over here we installed a bed for Max that's almost exactly like one he has at home to make him feel at home when we're on the go and it works out well and on the top here is a changing station it's also made from wood and materials that we took out of the camper in the first place and this is just stuff we, we use at home that we bring into the camper whenever we go. And up here is Max's clothes. And over here is also some stuff for Max, extra diapers and if it gets real cold we have some extra stuff for him, shoes and stuff. And over here is everything we need when we're changing the diaper. I think everything about Max and about Max's space has been working really well. It's been alright to use this as a changing station. We were a little concerned that he would bump his head into the changing station, but he's been very good about that. He's just been crawling under it and standing on the other side. So, that's nice. Under his bed we have these two bins with toys for him. And we've actually only needed one. So, even as he grows up <laughs> and the toys take over the space, there will still be plenty of space because right now we actually only need the one. Over here we have a place for his diaper bag and uh, a few other bags that we store under the bed. And then we have his bathtub that we bring is under here on the shelf. Oh, that's... <laughs> don't touch that and extra diapers and stuff. So we measured these shelves to make sure that they would fit these items so we would have them close by. And he has not been pulling them down. I was very anxious about if he would just crawl in here and pull everything down, but he doesn't. He stays mainly on the floor, he stands up, and he uh, is just crawling all over. He especially likes the shoe boxes and the water tank and the sofa. I think that's his top three. So each of my guys kind of have their area, so I've kind of claimed this area as mine. I don't really spend a lot of time here, but I really enjoy having this area. So there's like a nice mirror, I can hook my um, hair dryer and use that here. Um, makeup, vitamins, we have towels, it's just like a basic bathroom, but I really like it. It's a place where I can feel like I'm not doing the whole into the wild thing, which is cool, but it's not really my thing. And I also have my own bathroom. There is a bath in there, but we took out the water heater, as you guys remember. So we don't have any hot water in this caravan, and that's fine. But we do have a toilet. I really like it. I'm not usually one to run to the bathroom all the time, but since I have Max, I'm still having to get up early in the morning or late nights, and it's really nice to have this as a backup. We mainly use the facilities, everything like baths, um, laundry, mat, everything on each campsite, but it's really nice to just have the basics here so we don't have to run around all the time. Also, if Morden is working and I'm with Max, it's really nice to be able to do stuff in the camper so we don't have to run to different destinations every time. So it just gives a lot of flexibility. Living on the road of this camper has been easier and better than I thought it would be. It's been very smooth. I was very excited about having Max sleeping right next to us, just with a tiny, tiny wooden door, sliding door between, hey. but it, it's been working out really well. He's a good sleeper and yeah, yeah. we didn't wake him up when we were talking and here, we could actually like talk normally in here while yeah. he sleeps. Yeah. He goes to bed at 7, so it would be pretty early to 
<laughs> to keep quiet for the night. <laughs> yeah. And I think the practical aspects of it, I was really scared that it would feel too tight with this little dude. But it's really not. Of course, we have to keep cleaning up and we have to mm. keep up with the dishes because if that piles up and we have like twice we've missed the dishes for one day and it just becomes super overwhelming and it's annoying too to have to do the dishes for two days but every evening we kind of made this ritual mm. that one takes care of putting max to bed mm. and the other one does takes, the dishes does the dishes so exactly it works well yeah we don't have any laundry or anything Hello. in this uh, camper, of course, but we use the laundry mats at the campsites and it hasn't been a problem. Of course, it costs some money, but it's really not a problem. We brought the stroller for Max, so he takes his naps outside still. We tried to keep everything as normal for him as, uh, as usual, so everything is pretty much like it is at home. And it's been really working well. I think the decision to do this um, has been really good because we can really see that sometimes if we've been out for a day and we come back here then it's like he's like oh you mm. can really sense that this is like yeah. his home base yeah he likes coming back to the camper and yeah. he likes to run around on the floor and it's it's a small confined space so <laughs> okay Morten is feeding Max outside so that's taken care of uh, we are in Tuscany right now and we have been staying in the Florence area for a while and then we're moving down to Siena tomorrow I believe. We've been doing some interviews here meeting some really cool people and it's been a lot of fun. And if you guys want to follow our travel journey then we post those videos on another channel. It's called One Girl One Suitcase and I'll link it up in the cards up here and you can go check out that channel as well. All in all, we love this lifestyle so far and we I'm really excited that we've been able to test it out. And we've already started to plan our next trip and that will hopefully be, be in June. And France is coming up. Possibly some Switzerland, but we'll see. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye. <laughs>